I think it's an absolute must that children be involved in sport. And I went to the annual meeting in 1985 when my eldest boy was ready for under 11 cricket and nobody came. So I started the club again myself with my wife and daughter as the Secretary of Treasurer. People such as me and Dave and other good people were constantly raising money, constantly asking the participants for money. So I went home and in my own mind formulated a plan to build the Caboolture Sports Club so that we didn't have to sell chooks anymore. Um, the first day we opened, there was no money in the till. That's come out of everyone's pocket. <laughs> But I can tell you uh, now that uh, the Caboolture Sports Club also donates over a million dollars a year to local community groups. So it's not just sporting clubs that get it, but you know, to have a, 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 a complex like this wouldn't have happened without the sports club and without mixed vision. So, so when I wrote that constitution, I wrote into it that there was, the money could be used for other community projects, and it has been. When I went into this, uh, club down there, I never imagined for one minute that it would result in this. But to say that I'm absolutely proud of what has happened is understatement.